This week, where I'm starting on the front porch build out, I've got to put in uh, four posts across the front here, and then I've got to do put in the uh, eye joists across this, and that's the second stage. But I've got to form out and put beams out and across all the way down the 25 foot length. Uh, that's going to support the roof that's coming off of it. So uh, I've got quite a bit of work to do on getting this uh, all set up and uh, getting the front porch built out. And that's our goal for this week is to get that done and ready to go. Uh, quite a bit of work. So let's get started. As you can see, we've got our uh, four six by six posts and then uh, the glue lamb beams, uh, the LVLs that'll be used for the uh, border of that on the outside. So I got to put up, set up the posts, uh, get those anchors drilled in, and then we'll start uh, putting in all the materials together and uh, get it all leveled out and put together. One thing I have to do is right in here, I have to cut uh, lateral supports uh, four uh, two by sixes across the span here. Uh, that is to one, hold the beam uh, into the wall there and also provide additional support for the girder trusses uh, that will be coming across right, uh, right across this part of the roof. So uh, they're gonna serve uh, kind of a two purpose. So I've got to cut four of those. I'm gonna install four two by sixes in there as uh, a brace for the top or bottom of the uh, beam that comes across the porch and then uh, also for support for the uh, roof. So we'll get busy getting that done. All right, so I've got all the bracing up uh, here for this beam and for the uh, support that's uh, not too shabby. I've got one more to do on the other side and then we are good with the lateral supports here. We're also gonna do the same thing, uh, not with uh, beams, but we're gonna put uh, four two by sixes as well on the other end of the uh, framing uh, to handle the other side of the girder trusses once they go up and I'll get that uh, a little bit later, but we'll finish off the laterals on the side for support and then we'll continue on with the porch. As you can see I've got uh, four two by sixes and those are set uh, 16 feet six inches according to the plans. Well I finished with the uh, structural supports on both sides for the girder trusses above. Additional support uh, acting as a as a true beam so there's this side and there's the other side with the porch that has the uh we'll have the beams uh connected directly to the top plates as well so uh we got the structural supports in i'm pretty happy with that a little bit of work but got her done <clears throat> for the uh anchors for the posts I'm using uh, the Simpson uh, uh, post mounts, adjustable post mounts, and I'll get uh, I'll get those measured out here and uh, put in place, and those will bolt directly into the into the foundation for that. So uh, we'll get started with that and uh, get these and put in place.
All right, so I've got all the beams up and in, uh, in their holders and uh, bolted down. So that was quite a bit of work. Those posts are, as you can tell by, I'm out of breath. Those posts were a lot heavier than they look. Almost a little bit too much for one guy, but uh, managed to get it uh, managed to get it done and uh, on to the next thing. So I have to figure out the height measurements of where to cut these all along to match up where the beams are going to go so I can then uh, put in all the uh, beam brackets and then cut the beams to length and get those situated so we're we're making good progress just uh, some heavy heavy lumber Well, it's a new day and I'm back at it. I've got to get uh, the tops of these posts cut down to size and then we'll start putting up all the uh, all the uh, timber mounts for the or the mounts for the beams. And so we're getting one step closer and closer. I'm trying to get at it early here before it gets too hot. It's supposed to be about uh, 98 today. And so it's uh, gonna slow me down in the afternoon. But uh, a little bit at a time, we're getting to it. The good part is uh, my neighbor has uh, come down to help mow uh, he's brought his haying equipment, so we'll uh, hay the entire property. It's a bonus for him and a bonus for me because he gets to keep all the hay and I get to get everything back under control here since our little mower isn't going to do it. All right, well, I got the tricky cuts done. A little different with uh, having to put the ladder on the inside of the uh, porch. The dirt's kind of uneven, so it's uh, a little bit uh, a little bit wonky, a little sketchy. But sketchy's kind of what we do, so nothing new there. Anyway, I'm covered with man glitter here, but uh, that just gives me more motivation to keep going. We'll start getting on the uh, mounting brackets for the beams. For right now, I'm not going to lag these into place until I get that beam across. That way I can make sure that's totally even and level before I uh, put the bolts in there. So the total measurement for that is about 25 feet, 4 inches. So, whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. 
I have to cut that beam and then we'll uh, use a tractor to actually get it up there. But I think I'm gonna start on the lateral of the side supports first and then, uh, then we'll move to the main beam for the front. One of the cool things is, is that my neighbor is gonna come down and uh, hay our property. So that'll be a big help for us. Uh, our little mower just can't handle what uh, all the grass and everything we've got. So I'm pretty thankful to have the help to get it done so we can get a handle on it again. So one thing I did is I went ahead and I marked out the beam. I have to cut out this area here and remove this section uh, so that it slips into between the top plate and the supports I put in for the beam. So we'll get that uh, get that completed so we can do that. The overall beam length, once I cut it, will be uh, 91 inches. So I'm having tractor issues again. Once again, uh, the thing is overheating, so they never did really fix the issue at all. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can manhandle these beams, at least the two side ones. I'll see if I can put uh, put some power behind it and manhandle them into place. And then we'll need the, definitely need a tractor or a couple of guys for the main front beam because that one's gonna be just too much. But we'll uh, we'll try and get these up. The downside to having a tractor that's not working is that I had to result to manhandling these beams into place. Not one of the easier tasks I've had to do as these are really, really heavy, but I managed to get her done, and that's all that counts. Well, that took a lot of power, but I managed to get it up there. Kind of actually surprised, to be honest. All right, so now on to the second one. One of the cool things is, is that my neighbor is gonna come down and uh, hay our property. So that'll be a big help for us. Uh, our little mower just can't handle what uh, all the grass and everything we've got. So I'm pretty thankful to have the help to get it done so we can get a handle on it again. So I'm gonna attempt beam number two here and see, I'm uh, starting to wear out a little bit. These are these are mighty heavy. Anyway, I uh, got haying going on. I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, we're getting closer and closer with getting these uh, beams up for the front porch. So we'll see what we can get done with this one. A little sketchy, but so be it.
Well, the construction gods were, uh, were watching out for me. I managed to get that up there. But I think that's it for uh, heavy lifting for that for today. We'll, uh, we'll get on some other stuff, but the only thing left I have is that front beam. And hopefully I can get this telehandler started to do that. If not, I gotta figure out a way to manhandle that bad boy up into place as well. So we'll just continue on with the mowing and the construction. We'll get back at it. Well, one thing that's kind of cool about that is they managed to get about 10 of the round bales at about 1,200 pounds a piece off this property. So that's pretty good. My neighbor got a good haul off of here, and I'm pretty happy with it. It helps us both out. Get the, I get the property mode, and uh, he gets the hay. It'll help him this uh, coming winter, and uh, we managed to get the property back manageable. So all in all, pretty cool. The good part is I was able to get that main beam on yesterday. The uh, managed to work and fight to get the tractor to start, but uh, managed to get it done. And since I had it running, I figured I wasn't going to waste any time. I would just lift that heavy beam into place. Now today I just have to uh, start locking everything into place and bolting everything down, and we should be uh, good to go. All the front porch supports will be done, and we'll be uh, we'll be ready to start putting OSB on the outside of the house. So we're getting uh, we're getting there. It was uh, kind of a time-consuming thing for me trying to figure this whole front porch out. You'd think it would be pretty simple, and it actually is, but your mind uh, tends to try and make it more than it than it should be. But we got it. Uh, we got all the heavy beams up, and we're gonna get everything bolted into place today. So the last uh, bit that I have is right up here where the beams connect into the uh, framing. I'm going to add these 10-inch uh, uh, timber screws and drive them down through the top so that they're uh, secured into the actual braces and into the framing. That will be there'll be no uh, slip either way, and we'll get that buttoned up. But we're almost uh, we're almost done with this um, part of the operation, so we'll just keep that going at it. <laughs> 